So welcome back to Seize the Adventure. And in today's episode, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be picking up some ingredients today to build a Big Mac. Yes, you heard me right, a Big Mac. We're not building a van today. Now we need to just find some onion and some lettuce. I think we have all of our ingredients. Hi. Hello. Ah, uh, yes please. So 30 bucks later. So today we're gonna to be having a cook off with maybe a familiar rival. So what the plan is, we're gonna head over to McDonald's. We got all the stuff to create a Big Mac and we're gonna make a Big Mac way better than McDonald's can in their own parking lot. And I'd like to give credit for this video idea to the YouTuber Mav. Your channel's a major inspiration on mine, so if you ever see this, thank you. The Golden Arches. I hope they're ready to get kicked right in the Alright. Time to show the Golden Arches who the real burger boss is. The plan for this is to actually make a Big Mac in my van, in my camper van with very limited resources, obviously. And then we're gonna head through the drive-through in the camper van. I liked his attitude, he was happy. With our freshly assembled Big Mac, then we're gonna compare to see if my burger is better than the Golden Arches. So I think first things first, Big Mac sauce. So what that looks like is some diced up pickles, mayo, ketchup, and some other seasonings. Now that we got our pickles in our Wisconsin cup, let's finish the sauce off by adding a little bit of mayonnaise quite a bit of pickle in there, so. We're gonna also add a little bit of good old Portland ketchup. We're gonna add just a small pinch of salt in there. small bit of GP or garlic powder, and black pepper, and then make sure to keep a chopstick in your camper van to stir sauces and things like that. Almost forgot a secret ingredient, a little bit of pickle juice. Just like that, just a little bit. Now that our sauce is ready, let's chop up this onion. One of the quickest and easiest ways to chop up an onion is for us to dice across perpendicular, put a few horizontal slices, 
you'll get a fine dice every time. Now we need some shredded lettuce. Isn't it insane the amount of lettuce that you usually get in a Big Mac? So I'm pretty sure in Mav's video, he, that doesn't look great. So I'm pretty sure in the Mav video, he raced DoorDash to see if he could create a Big Mac before DoorDash could bring him one. Shredded lettuce and our onion. Essentially all we have left is to make the burgers. So we have a little less than a pound of ground beef right here. So for a Big Mac, we're gonna need two burgers. So I'm just gonna cut it down the middle like that. And then cut this. And we have our two patties. Just make two meatballs here. And we'll smash them down into the pan. So glad that I have a ton of counter space in this camper van because without it, I would not be able to make stuff like this. So while this pan is getting nice and hot, we're making our little meatballs to smash down into the pan. First, I need to wash my hands. Now that our pan is preheated, I'm just going to take one of these meatballs and some parchment paper, and smash it down right into the pan. Same thing with the other one. I'll just add a little bit of salt and some pepper. So one of the size should be sufficient. Which one do you think is gonna be better? Seize the Adventure Mac or the Big Mac? <laughs> Wow, look at the crust I was able to get on these patties. It's gonna be way better than anything that McDonald's does. So let's finish these things off and then we'll be able to assemble our sandwich. It's about time to assemble our sandwich. We've probably been here for maybe five minutes or so, but look at this line. Crazy. I definitely never eat fast food for lunch. I just thought this would be a really fun video idea. And I think McDonald's does a piece of cheese. Let's do some shredded lettuce on the bun. Don't be cheap. Now, a piece of cheese. Some shredded lettuce. Now one of our burger patties on top of that. We'll do a little bit more sauce. Now the center bun, the infamous center bun. Sauce, onion. Cheese, lettuce. Oh my god, this is a monstrosity. A little bit of sauce for good luck. Now let's cap this thing. What do you think? Now that is a cheeseburger. Hello? Hi, can I please do one Big Mac, please? A Big Mac, anything else? That'll be it. Okay, looks like 469 for you. Thank you. I wish they could see into the van to see the Big Mac, but I don't... You actually just had that Big Mac? Yeah. Sure, have a nice day. Thank you, you as well. I liked his attitude.
He was happy. So let's check out the competitor. As you can see, kind of a sad representation of a sesame bun, but we'll forgive them. And like always, it's kind of in shambles. Very messy. There you go. McDonald's, and then the one that I made right off the bat. This one definitely looks a little bit more glistening and kind of greasy. This one definitely looks a little bit more fresh, maybe. Before we try them, we should check out what they look like. The patty on McDonald's looks pretty horrible, and that onion is sad looking as well. That has to be my biggest complaint about that. That beef does not look great. Check out ours. Probably a little bit more of what they advertise in their photos. So I'm gonna cut both of these in half. Let's try out the McDonald's one first. First thing that hits me is that Big Mac sauce. The beef is not good, like I kind of was thinking it was not going to be. And there's kind of a lack of it. So it's a lot of bread and a lot of the sauce. Oh. Now the difference between these two is the first thing that I got with this one was the beef. It came through pretty heavily. I did it smash burger style, so got that crispy surface area on it and it's really good honestly what I'm liking about the McDonald's one is like I mentioned that greasiness of the bun it's kind of more buttery I think this bun is a little bit more dry healthy homemade sesame bun type thing I love to cook and I think it's awesome to be able to bring my little house anywhere, cook any type of meal that I want to, whenever I want to. So let me know down below if you like this type of video. Also what should I cook next? What should I cook to compare to the restaurant next? One idea I did have is going out, oh my god an Amazon driver almost just hit the van, holy crap. Jesus, could you get any closer, bud? I'm thinking I'm gonna go and do a catch and cook and then maybe come back to McDonald's and do a fresh fish filet o fish What do you think? I wanna say thank you so much for watching and making it to the end of this video. I wanna remind you to get out there and go build something awesome. And as always, we'll see you in the next adventure.